Oh, 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 Welcome back to the Raymond, and um, it is one day before we go into the second national lockdown, uh, which will hopefully prevent us from. That's. I don't know actually why we're doing it. The first one didn't really work. Basically, we're doing this one because they know that if we don't get to mix with our friends and family for Christmas, there's going to be riots. That's my prediction. Let's uh, hope that is inaccurate as my football score predictions because they're pretty bad as well. But that's the only thing I can see it, obviously. It is hope. It is hopefully going to allow us to mingle and spend time with our friends and families. But anyway, we'll talk about football. We'll talk about football now. And basically that means um, step seven and below of the Football League pyramid. So that is step seven and below is considered non-elite football. So that will be postponed until the beginning of December, so I'm happy that that's happening. I'd rather that than the season completely just stop and restart again, because I I can't. Anyway, basically we did some ground hopping um, during these lockdown periods for the teams that we are allowed to go spectate. And we went to um, a number of them, and I went to Chatham's Town defeat to Tunbridge, and even though they lost, it was probably the most enjoyable game. I felt it felt like norm normality again. The crowd was really good and everything about it was just like being at Gillingham, obviously toned down a lot, but it was still pretty good. And then we started supporting Chatham and I've been to a number one of their games. And obviously they're going to have to have a break now until December, which is annoying because they're on such a roll. But they're doing one last thing and they're having a charity match tonight against Rochester United for uh, in aid of one big family. There you go. So it's a five hour to get in, so we're going to have one last trip to watch the football tonight before our month break. So let's just get straight into that. Oh, oh what save! One now! Oh, 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 oh. Here we go! Here we go! Oh! Come! Here it comes! <laughs> Go on. Oh. 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 Go on. Oh. Oh. That was close. Oh. Oh. Yay! Well Well tried, Dan. Well overlapped, too. Do you think? Oh no. Oh dear, they're giving the ball away there. Nice. Keeper's off his line. Go on, do your thing. He's off his line. Yes. <laughs> he done as well. He yes. did. He did. Oh. He, he likes that. He likes chipping the keeper. No. Oh. 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 oh dear. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, oh my day! <laughs> Great goal! Great goal post, isn't it? Not fast yet. Oh, that was a good idea. Oh, I thought I would have gone for a shot. Actually, did. <laughs> Whoa, speed! Look at the pace. He's done it. He's done the whole pitch. Ah, oh, what a run! Goal! Oh, what save! Oh, he didn't. <laughs> Almost. Hi. 
he slipped. <laughs> he slipped. What? He fucking slipped. <laughs> he knew it. Keeper knew it. <laughs> Oh, that's the sin. Oh, and, oh dear. That's a goal, isn't it? Or not? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was great. Oh, what a ball. Oh, what a oh, ref! Oh, oh, my days! <laughs> oh, it gives a fucking yellow. That's a red. Or he says it's a dog. Ah. Hey! He saved it. He saved it. Oh, oh almost. Yeah. He's done. <laughs> He's had enough. Oh. Never. Oh. Saved again. <laughs> Going wide anyway. Oh, you're so good. Nice yeah. guy, dude. <laughs> 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 hey, he's done. Sick, isn't he? He is really good. They can't, they can't. Nice. <sighs> That's a that's a <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Game on. Oh, <laughs> £700 was raised today, so it was actually a nice thing for Chatham Rochester to do this uh, charity game because this is probably when people will need that money the most. That was pretty entertaining in the end. Um, good win for Chatham, uh, experimenting with the squad just before we go into our month lockdown and fingers crossed we'll come out of this and we'll get back to what we're doing here on the channel and if things do really do improve then hopefully we can start looking about getting back into Priestfield, letting the spectators through the doors, social distance and whatever it is we need to do just to get back there and support the duels. And good news is Gillingham actually won today. Their five defeats in a row didn't come to a sixth because John Akinde headed us to victory in what was probably not the most exciting games. I think we had like 25% possession, 30% possession. We've got to do better on the possession. Obviously, I'm not watching it. I don't enjoy I don't enjoy watching on I follow. I prefer to be there and be at the stadium, be with, be amongst the fans because that is what got me into football. Not the game, but the atmosphere. And it's just not the same. It's not the same. I've never enjoyed watching football on the telly. I can watch my nation, England, on the telly. It's a bit different when it comes to things like that. But, nah. We've got to get back to Priestfield. Please. Please.